Good kick right in front of the goal, and it's in. Welcome to AHN Arena in Peters Township, Murray, Pennsylvania, for the second game of the 2022-23 season. It's your Peters Township Indians versus Chartiers Valley Colts, right down the street. And tip-off is moments away. Both teams had action last night, both winners. So we have 1-0 Peters Township versus 1-0 Chartiers Valley for this 1:30 tip-off. Referees are ready, both teams are ready, and the ball is on its way up, and we're off. Ziegler handles the tip, and Peters Township brings the ball across court. We've got an injury timeout. Ziegler in the corner in some discomfort. He's holding his left ankle, unfortunately seven seconds into the game. Indians were just getting ready to get into their set. And uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but uh, obviously not good news for the Indians. The Indians came off a good effort last night with a 71-58 uh, victory over the Altoona Mountain Lions. It was a really strong effort, aside from a third quarter that uh, saw a 9 nothing run to open the third quarter by Altoona. But they had balanced scoring. They had um, uh, really great effort, pressure, really the whole way through. Um, with uh, Brendan McCullough having 16 points, Jack Dunbar with 12, and Nate Miller with 10. Ziegler is up to his feet and walking, which is a good sign, although be it gingerly. He's off to the training table. In the game of Peter's concert, number five, Thomas Aspinwall. And in, in to replace him is junior Thomas Aspinwall. And we'll get started again with the Indians inbounding the ball. This is a much more familiar opponent for the Indians with Scherzer's Valley right down the street. Mills drives in the middle, gets his pocket picked, but gets on the ground. At least causes a tie up. And we'll go down the other way. Colts. 
Indians are going to stay in their pressure. Holtz inbound the ball. And across midcourt. Three right off the bat, and it's good. So we have the first basket of the game. Three nothing. Holtz taking the early lead. Found a little gap in the defense of the Indians. The Indians yet to have uh, got a point or score off or basket off. And the ball comes to rest on the back of the rim after Dunbar drives the lane. I can tell you that you don't see that every day. And that results in a possession and the arrows pointing to the Indians. So the Indians ball underneath. Dunbar had a nice backdoor cut. McCullough drives in, up strong, can't get it to go. And one of the Colts players stepped on the baseline. So another unfortunate, or fortunate for the Indians, unfortunate for the Colts. Nate Miller to trigger it in underneath. Churchers Valley man to man, but they use switch every, switch everything and there's, they turn the ball over. Indians stay in front of everything. Nice pass by Jaden Davis. Jump stop by Jack Dunbar. He's on the board, 3-2. Indians stay under pressure, which gave Altoona all kind of problems last night. They don't seem to have as much problems. A little better ball handling team than uh, Altoona was last night. Churches Valley player does a good job keeping his dribble. Aggressive defense by the Indians. Good footwork by Scherzer's Valley, but up come the Indians, two on two. Euros, McCullough misses, gets his own rebound, fights through, kicks it out, and gets fouled. Indians in the early going have missed a couple easy layups that they were finishing last night. But they've remained tenacious and have not been hurt terribly badly by it. Inbounds, trigger again by the Indians. Uh, and it's stolen again. CV up 3-2, just under six minutes. Three up, air ball, easy rebound by number 31, Brandon Cruz. Pella drives the lane, tries to get it to Dunbar. I'm sorry, over to Mills, and it's off a uh, off a Colt. Indians ball underneath again. Colts lead 5-3. Dunbar to Mills. Over to Vaccarello. Oh, had. Uh, Dunbar on in the far wing and it throws the ball off the rim on a pass. Good defense by Dunbar, good rebound by Mills and up, up the Indians come with some numbers. McCullough pulls it back. Crossover dribble, loses it. McCullough loses it on the way in. The Colts can't, can't handle it. And it goes off the baseline. Lots of subs for the Indians. Dunbar goes in the lane, gets his pocket picked. Up come the Colts with the Hero. And there's Jaden Davis to clean up the mess. 
7-2 Colts. Indians need a basket here. Double teamed by the Indians and it just gets thrown away. And the Colts just throw it away, the Indians give it away. Out come the Indians, three on, two on zero. And a stuff by Jack Dunbar. Gets this crowd going a little bit, 7-4. A little sloppy going here at the beginning of the game. Halfway through the first quarter. Long three by Davis off the front. Indians up across half court. And Miller makes a move to his right. Gets double teamed and fouled in the meantime. The Indians have spent a lot of time inbounding the ball under their own basket. Let's see if they can uh, see what's going on. With that, looks like Ziggler's back in the game, which is also a good sign. Moving pretty well. Colts slowly bring it across half court. Drive the lane. Offensive rebound by the Colts. And it will stay at that end. Good hustle by Gianna Jones, Jr. Nice interior passing. Nine four Colts. Token pressure by the Colts. Carla working on Davis, gets by him, goes in. And we are gonna get a foul. And two shots from McCullough with the hold. We need to get Davis with his first. First one's off the back rim. Nick McCullough in the game. Second one off the front. Dunbar tips it back, but, I'm sorry, Mills tips it back, but uh, couldn't run it down. Colts inbound. Still 9-4. On a hard play, little sloppy first quarter. Good defense by the Indians. Davis will pull it out and set. High screen and roll. Got a switch, pulls up, and that's a nice silky smooth shot by Davis. That gives him four points, 11-4. Mills goes in in traffic, and he's gonna get fouled. Good strong move to his right by Cameron Mills. Let's see if he can make his free throws. Cut into this Colt lead. First one's all net. Second one off the front. Indians, one for four free throw shooting in the early going, which is not helping the cause. A 
McCullough on Davis. High screen and roll gets the switch. Ziegler out on Davis this time. He pulls up from 17, in and out. Mills gets the rebound, and up he comes. Mills again draws a foul, gets by his man. That's gonna be Kubasek. He's first since he has just entered the game. That's five team fouls for the Colts, and none on the Indians. Indians inbound under their basket again. Dunbar to trigger. And near giveaway, and it is a turnover. We're gonna get over and back. Indians pleading their case on a foul to no avail. Turnovers have been an issue in this quarter for the Indians. Twenty-five left in the first quarter. 11-5. And the Indians are gonna get their first foul. That foul is on Dylan Donovan. Obviously his first, team first. Davis off the front. Gets his own rebound and puts it in easily. McCullough drives in, nice pass, up, and gets it over to Vaccarello. Nice pass by McCullough, drawing it deep. Near turnover. Davis for three. Mills with a nice block and rebound, and he gets called for the travel. Good effort there by Mills. Had the block, got the rebound. A lot of contact, but the referee saw a travel. So now the Colts, Colts will inbound under their basket. Aspinwall in for the Indians. Indians man to man switching, big block. By Baccarello, but he must have bodied him on the back. And two shots. Kubasek. 13-7 Colts with 25.8 to go in the quarter. First one rattles home. McCullough and Miller into the game. Second one is good. Some token pressure by the Colts again to try to slow things down, but still 20 seconds to work with. Call over half court. Ten, nine, McCullough out by the half court line, down to five, four, in goes McCullough with the drive. Scoops it off the backboard. And that will end the first quarter with Chartiers Valley 15, near Peters Township Indians 7. A little different from last night. A lot more scoring on the Indian side as opposed to uh, what they had last night coming off a 71 point effort. I'm not very good at math, but. Uh, Seven times four doesn't come anywhere close to 71, so the Indians are gonna have to get their offense into gear. 
the Chartreuse Valley Colts also had a good game or good night last night. They, uh, they traveled to Baldwin as part of the Peterson to Baldwin tournament and came away with a 53-52 win versus Baldwin. Jamie Davis led, led all scores with 26 points. Again, I'm not very good with math. It's nearly half, half of the Colts scoring production. So far in this game, uh, I don't have it right in front of me, but I believe he's got six of the 15. He's on the bench at the moment. So the Indians will inbound. I'm sorry, Colts inbound to start the quarter. Dunbar, Ziegler, McCullough, Miller, and Nick McCullough. Nice high low. That was a simple basketball play. Nice high low. Got the ball to the high post and made a give and go cut. Easy layup. 17 7. The Indians got to get it in gear here. McCullough drives, kicks it out to Ziggler for three, and it's good. Boy, did the Indians need that. Ziggler doesn't look any worse for wear from earlier injury. 17 10. Good defense by Mills. Short, out come the Indians. A lot of contact, slows down the Indians' break. Backdoor pass by Mills and Ziggler just barely can't get it to go. Good look though. Good trap by the Indians. Three's on the way, off the front. Offensive rebound by the Colts. Everybody settles in. 17 footer, a little off balance, but all net. That's good by Drew Sliva. One of the seniors, one of the four seniors on this team. Have their offense spread out a little bit here. Mills for three, off the back iron. And up come the Colts. Three is up, and it's good. 22-10. Back door to Mills, good footwork. Ziggler for three, and it's good again. Indians down by nine. They need a couple stops here. And Drew Slava made a Baseline move, but uh, too much baseline. Stepped on the stepped on the end line. We have a hockey hockey substitution for the Indians. McCullough, Dunbar, Donovan, Vaccarello, and Aspinwall. Oh, are gonna get an offensive charge there. Macarella made a nice move to the basket, came to a jump stop, but not quickly enough to avoid the charge. Full 
court by the Indians, which is what we've seen every minute of the whole season. Davis back in for the Colts. He's got the ball. In and out. Up come the Indians. McCullough. Passes up the three. And they're going to get a travel. On Donovan. He had an open look there for the three. Chose to drive in. Halfway through the second quarter. 22-13 Colts. Davis looks to slow things down a bit. Davis is one of the highly rated players in the Whippeal, according to the Post-Gazette, preseason. Davis up, and it's good. I was just getting ready to say this. Peter's defense was a little better on that possession. And Davis really had to make a, make a tough shot to stop me in my tracks. Indians down by double digits now, 24-13. Drew Sleva gets a defensive arm bar. That's his second, team sixth. Indians need some points. Dunbar drives, kicks it out to Mills. Tough pass, but he handles it. Nate Miller, nice move. One of the first time that Peters pressure gave a little bit of problem. Backdoor cut. Nice pass by Davis. To Jackson Speck. There it goes. Cameron Mills. Nice entry pass, gets it up and fouled. Gianna Jones with the foul, his first. First one rattles in. Ziggler and McCauley for the Indians. Peters is now in the bonus, so if they can take advantage of that, that'll be helpful to fight into this lead. And Mills misses the second one. Up come the Colts. Wide open. Breakout. For number 13, Danny Slizik. Freshman. And Coach Ehrman takes a timeout to talk about things. 28-16, Indians have the ball, down 12, 224 left in the half. Chartreuse Valley has played an awfully nice half of basketball. Very few mistakes, very controlled, good defense. I would say the Indians have not played a horrible half, but they have not shot the ball well. Therefore, find themselves down, down a dozen. 
Let's see if uh, the Indians can cut into this deficit before halftime. That should be the goal right now. This discussion, the timeout. First things first, Peters will inbound the ball in their own backcourt. McCullough, Miller, Mills, Ziegler, Dunbar. Starting five. Mills across half court. Colts in a sagging man to man. Dunbar for three. Off the back iron. Tipped out by Mills. Good job. Stay keeping it alive. Ziggler for three. It's good. Jake Ziggler on. Wago. Loose ball on the court. Here we go. McCullough grabs it. Off to Dunbar. He's up. Can't get it to go. Ziggler follows and gets a chance to add an in one. Good hustle by the Indians. Davis just tried to do a little too much dribbling in half court, and the Indians took advantage of it. Beat the Colts down to the floor to get the loose ball and ran the court. Ziegler here with the rebound. That gives him 12 for the half. Great half of basketball by Ziegler, which is awesome because we almost lost him in the first eight seconds. 28-22, Colts. 135 left in the half. Tough shot. Jackson Speck gets it to roll. That gives him six. Mills dribbles across half court. McCullough nearly loses it in the lane. And we're gonna get a block as Miller made a nice quick move to the baseline. He's gonna draw a second one on Davis. Davis leading the Colts to score on eight, eight points. Ziggler gets a, gets a break and a nice applause as he sits down. Miller's got that nice stroke on his free throws. Second one coming, and it's good. 30-24 with a minute six. And the Colts dribble it out of bounds. I wouldn't say it was huge pressure, but it was good pressure by Miller, and uh, he got Speck going sideways. I don't know if he kicked it or just lost a handle and went straight into the Colts bench. Indians bring it in. Dunbar makes looks to make a move and he hands it right back. Aspinwall in for the Indians. Colts across half court. McCullough controls it. And tough pass. A little too hot. Plenty of time with 37 seconds. There wasn't, uh, wasn't a lot of need to, to be moving that quickly. Another runner by Jackson Speck. That gives him eight. Indians looking to hit something before the half. Down to eight seconds. Back door to Dunbar. Tipped away by Slizik. 
Ziggler in, Aspinwall out. 5.4. Here comes McCullough. Looks to drive, 15 footer, in and out. Ziggler can't get it to go. Good effort by Ziggler. And after being down by as much as 12, the Indians have cut the lead to eight. Chartier's Valley, 32. Indians, 24. Indians are down to Chartier's Valley, 32-24. After the Indians had dug themselves a little bit of a hole in the first quarter. Seven points, but it was a much, uh, much more even second quarter of play and they cut the deficit down to eight in the early going or the late going indians inbound and have a chance to cut into that a little bit more jake ziggler leading all scorers Gets bumped up front, we'll get a foul on them. Indians inbound the ball again. Jake had 12 in the first half. Same starters for the Indians. None of the Peters Township starters have any fouls. McCullough down in, in with the trees, he gets fouled as he tries to kick it out with a nice inside, it was an outside, inside, outside pass. And they're gonna get uh, Cruz for his third foul. Over to Mills, Mills drives in hard, avoids the charge, but can't get it to go. So an empty trip for the Indians. Oh, it was close to a palm there. Dunbar nearly has a steal. Defense recovers. There is a, oh, Dunbar very active on the defensive end. Actually, it's probably closer to getting the second one than the first. Don't think you want to give him too many chances at a steal. Davis bringing it up against McCullough. Down to the block, McCullough getting posted. Nice interior pass to Davis. Really nice. And McCullough leaves his feet for no apparent reason, and we get an up and down. Colts up by 10, 6.50 to go in the third. Near turnover, but Colts Corral it. No pun intended. Three is up, off the front. Colts control the rebound. So offensive rebounds will kill you. Nice back door. Can't get it to go. Another offensive rebound, and we're gonna get a we're gonna get a foul on McCullough. No, I'm sorry. I'm stand corrected. That is on uh, Miller. The referee was saying two shots, which I, from where I sit, way way back here, I just didn't see Sleva in a shooting motion, but apparently he was. Makes the first, misses the second. Davis makes a very active play. Poor boxing out and they convert what ends up being a three-point play. 37-24, Indians had a problem coming out of the halftime last night, gave up a nine-nothing run. Near turnover, Ziegler gets it under control. And that was also a near turnover. Dunbar kicks to Ziegler. Nice ball movement. Mills ends up on his wallet, but we get the steal back. 
Ziggler can't handle it. Colts. A little bit sloppy. We're at uh, 545 in the third quarter. The Indians have not had a point. Thirty-seven twenty-four Colts. Cruz gets it to go. Leads up to fifteen. Davis just picks Dunbar's pocket. And Vaccarella had an easy layup and could not get it to go after he made a nice steal. Indians. Colts are on a seven nothing run to start this half. A little deja vu like last night. All over again, not the good kind. Donovan drives the lane, just gives it away. Three is up and good by Saliba. That gives him 13 on the game in the game. And the Indians need to talk about it. Got a 10 point, 10 nothing run to start the third quarter. I have to believe they talked about not having this happen after it happened last night. And lo and behold, here we are again in danger of going down 20 to these Colts. So the, so the Colts have four seniors on this team, but they, uh, but they start, they start two, starting a junior, sophomore, and a freshman, so some respects, their their starting five are pretty young, but they but they do have the senior leadership. And with the Indians, they they start well. If they have two seniors, they start both of them in McCullough, Brandon McCullough, and Jake Ziegler. This team a little closer to their own size compared to last night. But the size didn't give them any issues last night. Turnover, near turnover, and they're gonna get a foul. Foul on the Indians, which results in a turnover. That was Asimov. Looks like the Colts went to a 3-2 uh, zone out of, the, out of the timeout, but the turnover happened so quickly, I don't know that that had much of an effect. Turnovers have not been good. Slashing drive, and he gets it to go. That's. Julian Semplis. Now the lead is up to 20. Corner three, off the back. Here's Miller for three, wide open, off the front. Colts push it, three's up, hits nothing. Up come the Indians and they give it away. Very fortunate uh, call there with an over and back on the steal. That's, that's a tough one for the Colts. The momentum was taking him back to the, back over the half court line. The Indians aren't gonna argue, but uh, it was, it was close. I think everybody will agree on that. Unless you're a Colts fan, they're gonna say it wasn't close. 44-24. Colts putting on a clinic. High screen and roll. Dylan Donovan 
Just dribbled it into the lane and got tied up and another Indians turnover. Up comes Davis, step back, nothing but net. That's a tough one to defend. Indians stayed in front of him, but he created his own space. Double team on Miller, kicks it across. Miller gets bodied by Specht. I believe that's his first, and it is. Four new players in for the Indians. Indians have to start with the small things right now, like a point or a basket. They still sit at 24. Miller for three, and that one's good. That cracks the ice. Now it's gonna be about stops. We're gonna ever crawl it back into this. It's an uphill battle. A lot of time though, two and a half to go in this order, quarter. Davis off the back iron, Indians Nearly control the rebound, but do force a jump ball, and it's Indians possession, so down we go. Indians need to, really need to make a run of their own here. And they turn it over. Three on two, corner three, in and out. Davis with the rebound, and just quickly puts it right back in. He cleans up a mess quickly. Although, aggressive, picks up his third foul. That was Davis with the 14th point of the night. Now Chartier's Valley, full court pressure. Looks very much like the Indians. Mills breaks it, three on two for Mills. Dunbar drives the lane, kicks it to McCullough. McCullough into the lane. Jump stop, and Indians. Ficarello for Dunbar. Mills gets by, makes a nice play. And we've got a turnover on the baseline. Valley player Jones stepped over the, onto the court of play. Now the referees are gonna talk about it. A little explanation to the Shirtshire Valley coach. So after Mills goes baseline, Gets the second basket of the quarter. Forty-eight twenty-nine. Indians with the ball again. McCullough challenging Davis. Mills from the corner. It's short. Indians control it. McCullough for three. It's short. Rebound. Up. Put back, not good. McCullough goes for the steal and he's gonna get called for a foul. Good aggressive play. That's Brendan's first. Team third. 48 29. Nearing one minute to go in the quarter. Yes. 
Davis just silky smooth with that turnaround. In the lane. That's a tough one to stop without help. Miller just hands it over. The turnovers have just been numerous. Davis into the lane. Who gets it to go and foul. Three point play. Gives Davis 18 and three quarters. 52 29. Short. And the Indians finally secure the rebound, but they give it right away. Chartier's Valley to trigger. And they turn it over. in the quarter. There's a kick to Mills. It's up and short. Indians smack. Kick, Indians can't get it to go. Can't get it to go. Third can't go. And we're gonna get a foul on the Indians. Boy, there's just a lid on that basket. I don't think the Indians are gonna have too many games like this shooting. Here comes Davis, full head of steam. Just gives it up too easy. Second left of the quarter. Third quarter score, 54-29. So the Indians come out in the third quarter And they, all they can muster is five points versus an, versus an explosion of 22 by the Colts. 22 to five in the third quarter. That's, uh, that's no way to get back into a game that you were down by, down by eight at half. So now the deficit is uh, pretty significant running into the fourth quarter. Almost to the point where you're just going to have to start to build uh, Aiden Davis with 18 points. Bruce with And Davis coming off 26 last night, so he's had himself a Nice 24 hours to open open the season. And with the Indians, not a lot of scoring as you've only seen them put 29 up in three quarters. Three is up. And we're going down the Indians. After erupting for 71 points last night, 29 seems. Scherzer's Valley with numbers. Nice give and go, but it doesn't go. Fouled. That was a nice step through by uh, Sliva.
Mills goes baseline. Can't get it to go, it was a nice move. Davis has it stolen. Mills can't track it down. Good effort. Davis can't get it to go. And the Colts come down with the rebound and they get a timeout. Because Slava was standing right next to the baseline in no man's land. Well, as much fun as we had against uh, Altoona last night, it's, uh, not, uh, not as much fun here this afternoon for your Peters Township Indians. With uh, 6.41 left to go in the game, Churchers Valley 56. Peters Township 29. And with that, Chartreuse Valley has added three more points onto their total from last night. So they've had a virtual offensive explosion against the Indians. And the Indians gave up 58 last night, and they're clearly going to give up more than that tonight. Turnovers, poor shooting. Nice back door play, but Davis steps on the baseline and we'll go down the other way. Shirtures Valley picks up man to man, half court. Dunbar drives hard and he gets fouled. He did a lot of that last night and we haven't seen really any of that tonight. Shirtures Valley did a, has done a really good job of stopping Dunbar's drive. In fact, to the point where he's only got four points tonight, although with a chance to add to it. Gets the roll. Second one's good. Leva drives. Nice right hand. Colts have two players approaching 20 points. McCullough looks to go hard. Gets it up, can't get it to go. Indians get beat down the court. Gianna Jones that beats the Indians down the court. Mills throws it into the second row. Wholesale substitution for the Colts. And with a 29 point lead, you would uh, expect not too much difference, although, although Davis is still in. Indians still have four starters out there. Plus Aspenwall. Good defense by McCullough to get Davis to leave his feet. And Saliba just blows by the Indian defender for another basket. And that gives the Colts a 31 point lead, which I'm not sure we've seen in this brand new gym. Mills can't handle the pass. Indians get beat down the court, but the pass is too long. For spec. Hello. 
Nick McCullough in for the Indians. Indians just need to settle down. McCullough gets his pocket picked. Dunbar goes for the ball fake, but uh, uses his foot to stop the layup, so he'll get called for the foul. It's his first. Leva to the line, and that gives him 20 points. Building on this lead. If this were football, I'm afraid this would be a running clock. And Sleva is going to sit down with 21 points. Davis has already sat. So we've got. Uh, Several players making their first entrance into the game. McCullough skip pass to Dunbar to Donna. Dunbar off center. 3.51 to go. Steals it, goes in hard, lays it up, and gets that with a fall. That's his first points of the game. After being the Indians' lead high scorer last night with 16, the Colts are going to get a timeout here. They they were a little out of sorts, despite a 31-point lead. Well, the good thing about basketball is there's always another game this early in the season, and uh, the Indians are back at it Tuesday night. So hopefully uh, Coach German, along with his assistants, Kevin Lawrence, Kyle DeGorgio, and Mike Fisher can uh, get what they can out of this and uh, this big mess. 33 points of offense and 64 points given up. Basically doubled up, more than doubled up by the Colts. Get something positive out of it and come out ready to play. A little more like they played last night. So the Indians out with some younger kids. Nick McCullough, Donovan, although Dunbar makes a nice steal. He comes in, can't get it to go. And it's Vaccarello in for left-handed scoop. Sean Delk into the game for the first time today. Dunbar with a near steal. 2.45 left. And the clock, clock is running. And that's going to be over and back. Controlled by... Oh, blocked. Blocked by Speck. That was Lucas Roast that ran it down, but then he got blocked. Nice rebound by Vicarella on to, on to Evan McCullough. He gets in the scorebook. 
One, just under two minutes to go in the game. Tough shot, air ball, retained by the Colts. Nice block by the Indians. Numbers, Donovan for three, off the back. Indians get the rebound. McCullough drives hard, can't get it to go. We're gonna get a reach in by Dylan Donovan, the freshman. Raises the front rim on the one and one. Out come the Indians. Donovan, good ball fake. Scoops it in for two. That's his first points of the night. Nice pass on the break. Easy steal. Gives it up. And that's Slizik. Gianna Jones, sorry, couldn't, couldn't see his number when he finished it. And the courts are gonna pull it out, dribble it out. Tough afternoon for your Peters Township Indians with the final score, Chartier's Valley 68, Peters Township 39. We appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Look forward to a better outcome next time. Thank you very much.